extract from a concept album that I wrote, which is called Descent. Um, I use the word concept album to try and sound less pretentious, but I'm aware that concept album also sounds quite pretentious. Um, <laughs> it's something that I struggle to avoid being. Um, I would call it an acoustic monologue opera, because it's a continuous work that kind of evolves um, through song, but not only through song. Also, there's like poetry, um, there's like talking, there's like music, there's like not music. Um, and it goes without break for like 35 minutes. So that's why I call it that. There's some of the themes that I like to, that I touch on. Because basically, um, it's a concept album about the end of the world. Um, I feel like in sustainability, often we feel the need or we get this need from our employer or from society on the whole, or our friends or family, to be optimistic about the future. And of course, there are moments when we all are, but there are also moments when we're not. And that is totally okay. So that is what this is an exploration of. It's an exploration of me coming to terms with my version of how I perceive our potential future to be. Of course, like simultaneously, we can be optimistic and pessimistic, or sequentially. But the point is, I think it's good to sometimes also express um, sometimes the darker feelings and thoughts that we might have that are just as legitimate, and I think there's a value in doing that. So this is an exploration of that through this concept album. Um, which I'll be performing next month um, in Sigtuna and also at the Malmo D Growth Conference if anyone is going along to that. Um, basically, there's about seven songs, but they're not really um, always like so clearly structured the song. <coughs> and I'll be playing the first, so it actually begins with an epilogue, not a prologue, an epilogue and then a first song. So that's what I'm going to be doing today, so that will be about a five minute extract, um, which really kind of sets up the whole concept album. So it's quite a bit intense, sometimes loud um, and confronting, uh, but that is the idea. So, <laughs> so yes, I hope that you enjoy it. Um, I only create half of this performance space, so listeners, audience, always create the other half of that performance space. So make of it what you will, uh, and you are interacting with the music just by being here. So be aware of that. Um, I am going to be projecting the lyrics up on the screen because, like I say, it's a bit of a story. It obviously, it's quite symbolic as well, um, but make of that what you will. If you want to look at the lyrics, do it, but don't feel compelled to do that. Close your eyes, look at the tree, do whatever you want. You create the space as much as I do. I'm just here offering something uh, for you to engage with. So if you want to hear, I have a kind of dodgy recording on SoundCloud. Uh, that's my musician name and my website. If you want to have a look at that, um, you can also engage with that space. <coughs> I'm so very sick, um, <laughs> so it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but uh, I'll try and get all my coughing out of the way uh, beforehand, um, so that I can manage to get through. Okay. <coughs> Alright, and with that, um, yeah, yeah. we're ready. History is easy to recite, given our wisdom and the hindsight from that which has befallen those struck. Crawling back, sheer luck, their sacrifice is not forgotten yet. The systemic phenomena, the disbelief in circumstantial destruction, will never repeat so long as it fits the mold, so long as recounted is told, so long as it. Only say it one more time, it goes, it's cold. Need rules to follow. I need ways to train my mind. I need a whole lifestyle. Give me truths, thoughts, and desires. But what I stand to gain is not to win, just to play the game.
Oh.